We're going to discuss now how to join two sets of information together that are held on two different tables. The simplest query we could possibly try and use is select star from then the two tables that we want to use, table contacts, comma, table telephone. However, the results look a bit like this. This isn't exactly right. I've created five contact IDs with five telephone numbers in my table telephone table. You can see all I've done is go over the same ones over and over again. So 01234567890, then I've moved on a digit each time for my five. So this here that we see, this group of five items, is all five records in table telephone. And what this join that we've done here has done has put the same record in contacts five times and attached each one of them to telephone contact ID. So what it's done has not connected it correctly. What we need to do is connect it so where this ID is 1, we only connect it to the record which the contact ID is listed as 1. The best way of doing this, first of all, is using something called the inner join statement. So we tell the computer we want to select everything from table contacts, join it to table telephone, and the two fields that are equivalent in these two tables are table contacts.id and that equals table telephone dot contact ID. Note the use of the dot to signify which table and which field. So it's table dot field. This actually gives us our correct answer. But it only shows those items that actually have a matching record in the telephone table. We might want to see all of the contacts and if there is a matching record in the table telephone table, show that as well. This is accomplished with something called the left outer join. When we say left, what we're talking about is this table, i.e. the first table listed. That's the left table, that's the right table. And by doing a left outer join, we get the results as such, where we see all of the different contacts, and if there is a telephone record associated with that record by contact ID matching ID, then that's shown as well. We could do it the other way. Using a right outer join, we're now going to look at this table, table telephone, as our main table, show all the values, and if there is a matching record on table contacts, we'll add that in. At the moment, this looks exactly the same as the inner join, but that's only because we've only got the five um, records within table telephone. If in table telephone I add a new record which isn't connected to a particular contact, so I've added one for contact number 20, which doesn't exist because I've only got contacts 1 to 19. I'm going to do my right outer join again on the same tables. You now see that on the right table, we have this record here, which has no contacts associated with it. Sometimes we don't want to select every record. In the same way as we did the table dot field for our inner join, we do the same thing when we're making a list of all the different fields that we want to include. You don't have to do this if the name of the field only exists in one of our two tables, but it's best to get into the practice of doing this wherever possible. We can use everything in exactly the same way as we've already learned on other select statements. So our order by, again, can just be added to the bottom, and again we put do table.field, the result of which would look as follows. I'm going to save this query in my database, just so that I can access it in the future and I'm going to call it join query. I'm now going to create a new query, so again, create, query design, hit close on the show table, go into SQL view, and this time we're going to do an insert statement. Insert statements are quite easy, and I'm just using this one as an example. You say insert into, in the name of the table you want to select, a list of the fields we want to insert into, so contact ID and telephone number, the keyword values, and then the result of what we want to actually put into our database table. Note that as contact ID is a number field, it has no quotes around it, whereas telephone number is a text field, so I put a single quote at both ends of my string. It tells me it's going to work and append one row, so I hit yes to make sure that happens. You'll need to close table telephone and reopen it again to actually see the result appear. Then you'll have a telephone ID of seven, contact ID of six, and the telephone number that I've just added. Updates work in almost the same way as inserts. Keyword update, followed by the table. Keyword set, to say we want to set some fields. And then we can say 
field that we want to set and the value we want to set it to. And we can add commas and then a, a list of fields, one after the other. Finally, we have our criteria that we want to match and it will only update those items where this criteria matches. Again, when we run the query, it will tell us we're about to update one row, do we wish to do it? And we just say yes. And that, in a nutshell, is inserts and updates. And you, hopefully you have a better understanding now of inner join, left outer join and right outer join.